On November 17, 2020, Ting updated their plans. They now include more data at lower prices, and you can see them on Ting's website. They have their $10 a month flex plan, their $25 a month set 5 gig plan, their $45 per month unlimited plan, and their $60 per month unlimited pro plan. In this video, I'm covering everything you need to know about Ting's new plans. This includes what networks they use for coverage, what features are supported, how the new plans compare with Ting's old plans, how the new plans compare with similarly priced plans from other carriers, and what the future holds for Ting's customer support. My goal here is to answer all your questions about Ting's new plans, and you can find timestamps in the video description to jump to the section of the video you're most interested in. With that said, let's dive into it. And I think to better understand Ting's new plans, it's important to understand where they came from. Ting is a cell phone carrier that launched in 2012. They offered postpaid plans where they only billed you for what you used, based on what tier your usage fell into. At the time Ting launched, their rates were affordable, and customers appreciated the flexibility in their pricing. In fact, in recent months, Ting has actually been great because more people have been at home, and as a result of that, their usage has been down, and as a result of that, their Ting bill has been lower. In fact, Ting customers are mostly lighter users, and as a result, Ting says the average customer bill is just $23 per month. Ting was also known for their exceptional customer service. When you called, a real human picked up, and with support based out of North America, it was easy to understand and communicate with the Ting representatives. This made Ting a great option for anyone who valued great customer service and the ability to just call someone up when you had a question about your device or plan. While Ting continued to offer some of the best customer service in the industry, unfortunately their a la carte model and their rates became more expensive. Here's a look at some of Ting's previous plans. You can see they range from $15 to $30 per month, don't include that much cellular data, and don't include that many minutes or texts either. Carriers like US Mobile, T-Mobile Prepaid, and Mint Mobile have been able to offer much more affordable plans with more data. $20 a month got you 2.5 gigs on US Mobile and up to 8 gigs on Mint Mobile thanks to their bulk pricing model. And on T-Mobile Prepaid, the same $25 per month got you up to 5 gigs of cellular data. Even though the other carriers couldn't match Ting's quality customer service, it was undeniable they were starting to offer some seriously better plans. That is until today, or however many days ago November 17th was, because that is when Ting introduced their new plans. Check this out. The $25 plan jumped from 500 megabytes to a full 5 gigs of data, putting it right in line with the other options available and making it a compelling plan to consider. Ting also introduced three other plans. This includes their $10 per month flex plan, their $25 per month set 5 gig plan, which we were just looking at, their $45 per month unlimited plan, and their $60 per month unlimited pro plan. Unfortunately, Ting's unlimited plans are not true unlimited plans. They do have set amounts of high-speed data before your speeds are slowed to unlimited 2G data. Still, Ting's new plans are a significant improvement over their previous offerings, and they include the same great features as before. This includes support for visual voicemail, MMS, voice over LTE, Wi-Fi calling, the mobile hotspot, domestic roaming, and even 5G access if you choose to use Ting on the T-Mobile network. Add-ons for international calling and international data roaming are also available. While Ting's new plans share many of the same great features as their old plans, there are six key differences you need to know about. First is coverage. Ting previously offered plans on the Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon networks. Now with these new plans, they are only available on the Verizon and T-Mobile networks. Second, if you're an existing Ting customer, you can continue using your existing plan. There's no need to upgrade, and you can continue using the previous a la carte options with the previous rates Ting had before. However, if you crunch the numbers and you decide Ting's new plans are a better value for you, then you will need to migrate to either the T-Mobile or Verizon networks. You will have to fill out a form on Ting's website to make sure your device is compatible, and once a Ting representative confirms it, they will ship you a new SIM card. I suggest reaching out to Ting for more information about this process. Third, if you have a multi-line account, 
each line on your account will need to be on the same plan. There's no mixing and matching of plans as of right now. If you have a multi-line account where each line has low data usage, then Ting's $10 flex plan could be a great option for you. In fact, I suspect this will be a great option for many current and existing Ting customers. The way it works is you pay $10 per month per line for unlimited minutes and texts, and then $5 per gigabyte of shared data. A five line account where each line uses under 200 megabytes per month would only end up costing $12 per month per line. Again, a great option for lighter usage accounts. Where the flex plan runs into problems is for accounts with higher data users. Unfortunately, there's no way to set a data limit, no way to set a spending cap of how much you wanna spend per month, and there's no way to get usage alerts. Ting will literally just bill you for however much data you use, and if you're not careful, that could add up over time. The only way to stop your data usage is to actually turn off cellular data on your phone. Thankfully, Ting's other plans are a great option for higher data users, with options ranging from five gigs to 35 gigs per month. For these plans, each line gets its own separate amount of high-speed data. The one thing is again, Every line on your account needs to be on the same plan, so if someone uses more or less data, you may consider actually splitting up and creating separate Ting accounts so each person could get their own plan appropriate for their needs. Fourth, speaking of plans and data usage, it's important to clarify that hotspot usage will count against your high-speed data allotment. So it's not that you have 22 gigs of handset data and 12 gigs of hotspot data, but rather that you have 22 gigs of total data and you can use up to 12 gigs of that as hotspot data. Fifth are the international features. We have to talk about these. Ting shared on Reddit that quote, the new plans will not support international calls for two months. After this time, we will be bringing in new rates for international calls, but we're still working on them, so we can't share them just yet. And as you can see, the same limitation is applied for international data roaming as well. Existing Ting customers can continue using the international features at the same rates as before. And for new customers, this honestly isn't a big deal because when you first sign up, you need to keep your account active and in good standing for 90 days before you can use the international features. And by that time, it sounds like Ting will have new prices and rates for international features. So you'll be all set to take advantage of those. And sixth, all of Ting's plans are post-paid. This means you pay for your service after you've used it. This is in contrast to many carriers which are prepaid, where you pay for your service before you use it. Ting does this because they calculate your usage, like with the Flex plan, and then bill you accordingly for how much data you've used. Now, despite Ting's billing being post-paid, my understanding is they still do offer prepaid data priority similar to what all other MVNOs are offering. If you're interested in trying out Ting or any of their new plans, make sure you take advantage of getting $25 of account credit by signing up at stetson.ting.com. This helps support the channel at no cost to you, and I greatly appreciate it. Now let's move on and compare Ting's new plans with their old plans. First up is their Ting Flex plan, which is $10 per month. This is either the same price as before or $5 less per month. And if it is the same price, then you're getting one gig of high-speed data up from the 100 megabytes that was previously included. This plan does not support unlimited 2G data. This is because your data speeds are always at fast speeds and you just pay for your usage at the end of the month. However, this plan does support mobile hotspot for all the data you choose to use. This plan also includes HD video streaming, the shared data for group savings that I talked about earlier, and it increased the minutes and texts to unlimited minutes and unlimited texts as opposed to just 100 of each from before. Next, we have Ting's $25 set five gig plan. This is the same price as before, but now includes five gigs of high-speed data compared with just 500 megabytes. You also now get unlimited 2G data when you go over your high-speed data allotment. The mobile hotspot continues to be supported here along with HD video streaming. And like before, this plan increases your talk and text allotment 
to unlimited minutes and unlimited texts. Also with this plan, if you choose to get more high-speed data, there is an add-on available at $5 per gig of high-speed data. Next, we have Ting's $45 unlimited plan, and there actually wasn't a comparable plan available. If we use Ting's rate tool to estimate our bill and select 22 gigs of data, our bill comes out to a whopping $252 per month. So if we use this plan for comparison, you can see there is a massive $200 price drop. You're now getting 22 gigs of high-speed data. You're getting unlimited 2G data, the same hotspot support and HD video streaming, and your talk and text allotments continue to be increased to unlimited minutes and unlimited texts. Also available is the data add-on, giving you high-speed data at a cost of $5 per gigabyte. Next, we have Ting's $60 Unlimited Pro Plan. And like before, if we sort of build our own plan that's somewhat similar to this, you can see it costs a whopping $382 with the previous RAID system. Ting's new plan gives you over a $320 price drop, includes 35 gigs of high-speed data, unlimited 2G data, continues to support hotspot and HD video streaming, and it increases your talk and text allotments to unlimited minutes and unlimited texts. And also available is that $5 add-on per gig of high-speed data. So those are Ting's new plans and how they compared with the previous offerings from Ting, but how do they compare with the rest of the industry? Well, let's start with Ting's $10 flex plan. Here we can see Ting's plan is right in line with US Mobile's unlimited talk and text plan and delivers a similar value to US Mobile's $15 plan and T-Mobile prepaid. Again, where Ting's $10 flex plan shines is with multi-line accounts where each line has low data usage. It's that shared data that really gives the Ting Flex plan a great value. While Ting Flex may be a great option for existing Ting customers, it can't quite compare to the value you get from Mint Mobile's bulk pricing model. Okay, next up we have Ting's $25 set five gig plan. And this is honestly one of the best value plans available. It's a better value than US Mobile, offering not only more minutes and texts, but also including unlimited 2G data when you go over your high-speed allotment. Ting's plan is a better value than T-Mobile too. It includes the same amount of data, that extra perk of getting unlimited 2G data, and even matches T-Mobile prepaid with the same 100 megabytes of domestic roaming data. Ting continues to be the better option than Boost Mobile for the same perks we've mentioned before, unlimited 2G data and domestic roaming. The only plans that come close to Ting are Red Pocket and Mint Mobile. Red Pocket's plan is $20 a month for seven gigs of data, and Mint's plan is $20 a month for eight gigs of data. But again, you are paying up front to get those prices. Red Pocket's plan won't deliver the same experience or level of customer service that you get with Ting, but I do think Mint Mobile's plan is a worthy alternative if you're willing to commit to a longer term plan. That said, Ting's plan shines because it is month to month. It includes domestic roaming. You can choose either Verizon or T-Mobile for coverage. It includes superior customer service and support. And if you happen to sign up at stetson.ting.com, you get $25 of account credit. So it's almost free. You just have to pay some taxes and fees. Either way, even without the credit, I do feel Ting's $25 plan is one of the best values available at that price point. Now let's move on to Ting's $45 unlimited plan. And on the Verizon network, it is a better value than Verizon prepaid, offering 22 gigs compared to 15 gigs, but it can't quite compete with the options from US Mobile or Visible. US Mobile offers 50 gigs of data for just $45 per month, and Visible offers truly unlimited data starting at $40 per month flat all taxes and fees included. On the T-Mobile network, it's a similar story. Mint Mobile's bulk pricing model lets them offer 35 gigs of data for just $30 per month. Ultra Mobile over doubles the amount of data for just $4 extra per month. And Boost Mobile, it's a little bit more expensive, but also offers a little bit more data. So kind of up to you what plan you think is a better value there. And now moving on to Ting's $60 Unlimited Pro plan. And this unfortunately just isn't a good value. Mint Mobile offers the exact same amount of data for literally half the price, thanks to their bulk pricing model. T-Mobile prepaid saves you $10 per month and offers a true unlimited data plan. And Verizon's own prepaid service matches Ting in pricing, but offers unlimited data as opposed to just 35 gigabytes. What Ting's plan does have going for it is the amount of data you can use as hotspot up to 30 gigabytes, but still I feel the other plans are a much better value. So those 
are Tang's new plans. They are a huge improvement over Tang's previous plans and remain better suited for lighter data users or anyone who values great customer support. Which actually brings me to my final point for this video. This whole time I have been praising Tang for their customer service and experience and rightfully so because they've earned it, but they were recently acquired by Dish, a company that's not exactly known for providing good customer service. Many existing Ting customers are concerned about whether or not Dish will be able to maintain the same level of quality that Ting has. And I think this is a valid concern, but I'm also optimistic. Here's the thing, Ting's leadership is well aware of the amazing reputation they've earned by providing a great experience. And I think Dish should be aware that this is a unique key opportunity for them to reassociate their brand name with a positive customer support experience. I think it's in the best interest of all parties involved to continue providing excellent customer service and experience and to make this transition as seamless as possible. Reddit user Literally Unlimited also shared some key insights where we learned that Ting's customer service is largely enabled by their custom in-house built tools. These tools can be transitioned to a new team and empower them to provide the same level of support that you're used to. And that is likely why we see US Mobile building their own custom tools as well. Anyway, I understand the skepticism, but I encourage you to give Ting a try. I think their new $10 flex plan and set five gig plans are an excellent value and great options worth considering. But what do you think of Ting's new plans? Let me know with a comment down below. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are. Please like this video if you found it helpful, share it with one person who may also be interested in Ting's new plans, and visit my website bestphoneplans.net to easily compare plans, prices, and features. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.